they're back for my variegated dwarf jade. In the last video, I'd just been letting it grow and pruning it back a few times. Variegated ones like this are so much slower than normal type. But apart from that, they're pretty much the same. I absolutely love the pale area of the leaves. The creamy colour is just amazing. You can see there's a lot of tea branching going on, so at some point that is really going to have to be sorted, but I'm in no rush at all. Right now I'm just letting it grow and trimming it back when it's needed. That way when I do remove the branches, there'll be plenty of foliage left behind that shouldn't have any issues. I find these can be a bit troublesome at times, they're just a lot weaker than the normal version. But now I keep this under a grow light, it seems a lot stronger and it puts new growth on a lot quicker. Well you can see here in July it still hasn't put too much growth on but it's getting there. By August it's finally put enough growth on to get a trim. I just pushed everything back to the first set of leaves. I'm not sure when I'm going to get round to the hard cut on this. Every time I look at that really long top branch it annoys me. I'll get rid of it at some point. I just tell myself that it's helping thicken up the trunk so it might be ugly now but at least it's helpful. So here it is after the prune. It looks okay I guess. You probably also notice I didn't repot it this year. Still has lots of room in its pot. Hasn't filled it yet. I'm in no rush to repot it until it really needs it. Here you can see in October it's started to put some good length again. Normally at this time of year it would have stopped growing, but since it's under the grow light it just it just keeps going and going. You can see in November it's really dense of growth. So it's time for another trim. I think this tree has a lot of potential. The colour and compact nature of the growth will hopefully make it look pretty cool in a few years. I just pruned the back of the first set of leaves again. Pruning these is so easy, they, they build up ramifications so quickly. Once I get around to sorting out that main structure, this will take shape pretty quickly. The more you prune it, the tighter the internodes get, so it can be a bit fiddly trying to get the scissors in between the leaves at times. But apart from that, they're really easy. And here we are, all pruned up with its weird long straight branch coming out the top. Here we are in January, it looks like it needs another trim, so it's growing at a decent rate this winter. I didn't video the pruning for some reason, but here it is after. In February it's looking good. It's like a big broad leaf out in a farmer's field, but you know, it's actually a really small succulent. And here we are now. Maybe I will hard prune it soon. Who knows? And a special thanks to my good friend who reminded me I actually own a turntable. So I should probably start using it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.